Well, I hope you haven't suffered this problem, but if you found this video, it's probably because you have. No matter what you do with your rotary switch for controlling your air conditioning or your defrost or your heat, it defaults and only blows out of the defroster. I was plagued with this problem for over two years. I read every single forum and every single piece of advice written on the internet and couldn't seem to solve the problem. I had a lot of people tell me that the first thing that would go bad would be the vacuum pump. That's this thing. It's actually mounted down here on the little bracket. It snaps onto some rubber pegs. I don't think there's anything wrong with this one, but I replaced it. It was a hundred bucks. And then, because I'd lived with it for two years, I had put off thinking that possibly it was related to the four-wheel drive hubs. Well, it just so happens that both of my hubs were at about 150,000 miles, and I want to keep driving the truck because I don't want to pay the state taxes on a new truck. I'd rather replace old parts. So for another 100 bucks a piece, I replaced both hubs. Well, those hubs are pneumatically actuated. There's an air line that comes from that same pump and runs down to the hub itself. And that's what suctions the connector in and out for the four-wheel drive system. So I replaced the hubs and I replaced the lines with brand new vacuum line. It got close. For the first time in two years I was able to get some air conditioning blowing out of the vents other than the defrost. I was very encouraged by that. So I read more on the internet. Some people said that this vacuum reservoir right here could develop a crack. So I pulled it off and inspected it. I ch chased all of these lines down. The vacuum lines are solid lines. Very, very heavy duty. They won't rust. The only part that's rubber is that part that runs down to the tires. I took the glove compartment out. Somebody mentioned that possibly you could kick off one of the lines. That's just not possible. The, the way Ford designed the vehicle, you can't get your foot up in there to kick the lines off. Tore the whole dash apart. Come to find out, the offending part is an unsuspected one. It's this piece. It's mounted right here by the vacuum. Here's the old one. It is called a vacuum EGR solenoid. It's about 88 bucks at your Ford dealership. That component installed and bingo, everything worked like brand new. So don't spend your time reading the forms. Go after these parts like we talked about. And don't be afraid to change this one out. It seemed to cure my problem.